Hey Spoops, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn yourself into Kim Boggs from Edward Scissorhands. Not only am I going to be showing you how I do her makeup, but I'm also going to be showing you how you can style her wig as well. I think we can all agree that Edward Scissorhands is probably one of the most precious and sweetest Halloween movies to date because every time I watch it, I literally just want to cry. So speaking of, I have already done an Edward Scissorhands makeup tutorial, so I will help make sure that is linked down below so you guys can check that out as well. This is part of my Halloween series, so if you're not already, definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be uploading a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial every weekday for the entire month of October so you guys definitely don't want to miss it. Also, I'm doing a huge Halloween giveaway here on my channel, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how you can enter into that as well. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into Kim Boggs this Halloween, then just keep watching. Spoops. So to get started, I'm going to be showing you how you can cut and style the wig for Kim. So as you can see, I'm just going to be starting off by cutting the bangs. This doesn't have to be too perfect because we're going to be adding some volume, which is going to help. So I'm just going to be pulling the bangs upwards and hairspraying them and letting them dry before going ahead and brushing them back downwards over my face. I'm then going to be taking a section on each side of my head and lightly twisting it before pinning it to the side of my head to kind of help pull the hair backwards. And we're going to make sure to set that with some hairspray. And then the front pieces of the bangs, we're actually going to be cutting a little bit shorter with some scissors. And that is the quick and easy way that you can style Kim's wig. Next, we're going to be moving on to makeup. I'm going to first start off by popping in some brown contact lenses before applying my Fenty Skin sunscreen all over my face to help moisturize it. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this all over my face to help prep it for the makeup where I'm going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Highlight and applying this under my eyes to help brighten it and then going into my Milani Supercharged Concealer in Peach and applying this under my eyes as well to help color correct and add some more warmth. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC Strobe Cream and I'm going to be applying this to the highlights of my face, mostly my cheekbones, to help add a little bit of a natural glow before going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 220N and applying that all over my face with my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in Mocha and applying this to the areas that I want to contour. So this is going to be under my cheekbones, the temples of my forehead and my jawline, and then just making sure to blend that out. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 14 and applying this to the areas that I now want to highlight. So this is going to be my forehead and under my eyes. And then once again, I'm making sure to blend that out before I go into my Ulta Stay Cheeky Liquid Blushes. I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks and lightly blending that out. Next, I'm going to be taking my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm going to be applying this all over my face to help set it before we move on to contour where I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking this contour color and I'm going to be applying it to all of the areas that we added our cream contour because not only is this going to help set the cream contour but it's also going to help add some more dimension to my face as well. I'm then going to be taking this banana color from the palette and I'm going to be applying that under my eyes and my chin. Next, I'm going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to be applying this to my face to help warm it up. And I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Enchanted Mirror Blush, and I'm going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter, and I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones and bringing that down my nose before going into brows, where I'm going to be taking my NYX Precision Brow Pencil in Espresso, and I'm going to be lightly filling in my eyebrows before setting that with my Benefit Cosmetics 24-Hour Brow Setter. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be starting off by taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying that all over my eyelids before going into my ColourPop Wild Nothing Palette, taking Crystal Cove and I'm going to be applying that all over my eyelid and I'm even going to be bringing that down to my lower lash line as well. I'm then going to be going into top down and I'm going to be applying that into my crease before taking morning side where I'm going to be doing the same thing starting at the outer corner of my eye and lightly blending that in to the center of my crease and then I'm going to be bringing that down to my lower lash line. Next I'm going to be taking come together and I'm going to be applying that lightly in the center of my crease and bringing that down to my lower lash line to help add some subtle definition and then you just want to make sure to blend this out. 
And last but not least, I'm going to be taking Sultan from the palette and I'm going to be applying that lightly to the center of my eyelid and also to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown and just lightly lining my upper lash line before prepping my eyelashes by curling them and going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and sweeping this through both my upper and my lower eyelashes. I'm then going to be going into my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bumble and I'm going to be going ahead and outlining my lips. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Animal Crossing Lip Crayons in Peach and Orange and just applying those to my lips to give them a nice fresh look before going into my ColourPop Disney Lip Gloss in Bibbidi and applying that over my lips as well. I'm then going to be taking my Kiss Number no. 11 eyelashes and applying that to my lash line before going back into my Wild Nothing palette taking Come Together and lightly applying this under my eyes to give them some slight Tim Burton eye bags before setting my face with my e.l.f. All Night Setting Spray. And that is my completed Kim Boggs wig and makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't already, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month and receive all exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks of upcoming makeup tutorials before anybody else. And it really does help support me and my channel. So once again, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey Spoops, cutting in for a minute to tell you how you can enter in my Halloween giveaway worth over $200 where one of you will be winning all of these Halloween makeup goodies. This giveaway is going on from October 1st to October 31st at midnight, aka like November 1st at midnight, like in between, that in between space, that one. So in order to enter into my giveaway, you first need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Next is to leave a comment on my 2021 Halloween makeup tutorials. My Halloween makeup tutorials that I'm going to be uploading this month, it's ideally going to be one every weekday for the entire month of October, which comes out to 21 makeup tutorials. They are the tutorials that I'm going to be selecting the winner from. And the way that I'm going to be doing it is 21 makeup tutorials. I'm going to number them one through 21 and have a random number generator select a random number between one and 21. And I'm going to select that video associated with that number and have a random comment generator select a comment from that video. You can most definitely comment on all of my videos and that gives you the best chance of entering because that way you consistently have a comment on every single video. So that way, whenever the video is picked randomly, you are definitely entered in that area. Third is you definitely need to make sure that whenever you leave a comment, this is very important, that you leave your Instagram handle tagged in the comment. I'm going to be DMing the winner through Instagram, so definitely make sure that your profile is public on Halloween, so that way I can DM you and let you know that you won. But I will need to be able to find you. If I click on your comment, I'm gonna need to be able to find you. So please leave your Instagram handles in the comments whenever you leave a comment throughout the entire month, just because I want to be able to message you and let you know that you won, because otherwise I won't really have a way to get a hold of you. And last but not least, this is unfortunately only open to US residents only. This is the first giveaway that I am doing. I would really love to open it up internationally in the future. However, because this is the first giveaway, I want to make sure that it goes well. So I'm going to leave it US only for now. And then hopefully in future giveaways, I can make it international. And because I'm not sure if I need to say this or not, no purchase is necessary in order to enter to win. And we will only be having one winner for all of these fun Halloween goodies. So I'm so excited. Once again, thank you guys so much for supporting me and back to the video.